We have a storm in the whole island of Iceland. This is a storm causing vibrations and our seismograms picks all these vibrations. You can see even the camera can show you that waves of the air with the liquid uh, water coming into it. Practically sea and the sky look the same. So these charts are not useful for us. We have to go for something better. All across uh, Iceland, you see even uh, in the Grimsfjord, they follow the same pattern, the whole island. The only reliable information is what we have from the Icelandic Meteorological Office, which shows the verified earthquakes. At the moment, we don't have much of them. The magma, which is already there, semi-solidified, reacts like a known uh, Newtonian fluid. So against the punching of the magma, it cannot give way, but against the vibration caused by the tremors, gives way and creates tremors and opens the way for the magma. In the absence of such tremors, which we saw on the chart, we can say that the magma is blocked, trapped by this known Newtonian fluid, which is a pasty kind of uh, magma. The volume of the magma under the Swartzengi is actually around 18 million cubic meters. That makes it near 60 megatons of the magma. This volume of the magma you may think is a lot. A study by the a professor of geophysics at the University of Iceland shows that this is not much. It's only one third of the volume of the hill that we know as Kailir and almost the same size as another hill in that area. And uh, yeah, it's not very big, but when it erupts, it will be quick. It will come very spectacular under a lot of pressure and will last short. And after that, we have to wait and magma accumulation creates the next eruption. If the predictions are true or before the end of the summer, it will end 